Police in the SIU. As for Kogali's tweet, I spoke with Sandy Hudson from Black Lives Matter earlier tonight. This is extremely frustrating and emotional for me because we slept outside for two weeks to get somebody to care about death in our community. And this is what you've decided to focus on. No, it actually, is we focused very, on, we focused very, on everything very else that's gone on with the Black Lives Matter, but it's this is very part of the whole story, though. Has there been a story yet on Pierre Boni? Has there been stories on Black Lives Matter? We've been has there? almost every day. That is a public interest story about another We've black life we taken by about. police oh. in Montreal. I am going to be talking about what is um, in the public, public interest with respect to, to black death, you. with respect to black death in my community. So are there any Premier Kathleen Wynn. I apologize for the tweet. Premier Kathleen Wynne has committed to having a public conversation with us. And what would be really so wonderful, what would be then? really wonderful is, is if media <laughs> would talk to her about what those plans are going to be. We she is the Premier. She's accountable story. to the people. The SIU has not story. been accountable to the people. And that's what you should be focusing on. Now, Sandy Hudson went on for several more minutes, but refused to actually comment on the tweet from Michelle Kogali. For you, starts now. Two Westland teenagers murdered execution style in a vacant Detroit field. Now, two and a half years later, their killers are going to prison for life. Fox 2's Amy Lang with more from today's emotional sentencing. These families have waited so long for justice. Finally, their opportunity to address the men who killed their sons. But what one of the defendants had to say to them left everyone shaking their heads. In the end, knowing who Jordan was, I believe he would want me to offer forgiveness. Although I know I may struggle with that endeavor for the rest of my life, it would be what Jordan would want. On behalf of Jordan and myself, I will pray for forgiveness for both of you. And no matter what sentence the court imposes today, these defendants who I have to answer to God, God's got this. I'd like to say sorry to the families of Ayanna Jones, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, and I want to apologize to them for not being able to get justice for their loved ones who was murdered in cold blood. And in respect for the peaceful protest, I want to say hands up, don't shoot. Black Lives Matter. That's it, Your Honor. Um, sir, the court believes you represent a danger to the community. This appears not to be an isolated incident. The court notes the strength of the case against you. The court also notes that a police officer had a shot taken from him, most likely from the vehicle you were in, where there were two guns found, where shortly thereafter you bailed out of that car. And Your Honor, they I don't read interrupt the call. Sir, sir, don't interrupt no, wait the court. Hold Thank on, you. hold on. And they found you with a gun holster on, hiding in the water under someone's dock. Yes, the court does believe you represent a danger not only to people of the community who own homes or vehicles. But the court also notes that a police officer had a shot taken at him. So, anything you want to add, Mr. Miller? Yes. Uh, my reading of the probable cause affidavit never places Mr. Clark inside the car. Okay. Running from the fourth